Balsall Heath in Birmingham this morning. The refuse collectors haven't been since an overtime ban started on December the 29th and the rubbish is piling up. We're not very happy. I mean, look at this. I mean, look how bad it smells here. I mean, these, those bins are across the road. We've been there for four weeks. It's bad because it'll cause rats. That's all we need. Tell me what you did with your rubbish. I took it to Lifford Lane Tip and uh, where it queued for half an hour and uh, managed to get rid of it. Uh, the temptation was to take it to uh, the council house and leave it on the steps. This latest dispute is directly connected to Birmingham's last major bin strike in 2017, when some residents went several weeks without a collection. The Unite Union alleges that members of the rival GMB union were given cash payments by Birmingham City Council for not taking part in the strike. Now Unite has issued a work-to-rule order saying our refuse collection members are not prepared to be discriminated against, compared with another group of workers who received thousands of pounds. The GMB says any suggestions its members received extra cash for not taking strike action are inaccurate and misleading. But it hasn't yet publicly given an alternative explanation for the payments. Well, there are bin lorries leaving this depot, which suggests that not everything has come to a standstill. And the council say they are trying to do one collection per resident per week. However, they have warned that in order to clear the backlog, all recycling waste, which is put out alongside the regular waste, may end up being diverted to landfill. And it's not just residents who are suffering. Businesses are too. We've already had problems with mice and environmental health. I've, com I've complained to the council a number of times. That set of bins been there since probably the 13th of December um, and no one's taking any heed of it. The industrial action by Birmingham's refuse collectors will continue until the dispute is resolved, while the city's festive rubbish gathers in the streets. Nick Wallace, 5 News, Birmingham.